30-minute reviews, beware of spoilers, and exploring hyperspace lanes are all available ad-free. But if you want to support the show, you can go to bewareofspoilers.com and click the support button that's available on the Spotify website. Thank you. Good morning, and welcome to Beware of Spoilers. I am Adam. On this a very cold and slick uh, Wednesday morning, we're going to do this for as long as I can because I am in pain. Um, because I have a fucking tooth issue again. Um, not as bad as last time, but still pretty fucking annoying to deal with, and it hurts a lot. So... If we get through the entire episode, we do. If we cut it short, I hope you can forgive me because this is not pleasant. Um, I did finish watching Ted the series last night, which was not priority one when it came to the new shows of this week. Um, because I think there's that new show with Peter Capaldi came out this week too on Apple TV. There's that new show with. Um, there's, there's a new season of True Detective over on, over on HBO, but, you know, with all that going on, there's like, you know, there's, there's, there's stuff to talk about, but I, I watched Ted, I watched Ted the series, and I think that Ted the series feels like an empty calories kind of show, where I sat there, I watched it the entire way through, and I enjoyed it the entire way through. Um, will I ever watch it again? Probably not. No, probably not. Um, because I don't think it's that good to be like, oh yeah, this is definitely, you know, a, a worthwhile, like, experience. Especially one where I'm going to sit down and, and, and invest the eight hours in again. And, and if you ask me to name, like, if you ask me what my favorite joke was, I could probably give you, like, one or two that way. Like, I really thought it was funny when, when Ted and, uh, and John, uh, first smoke for the first time in the, uh, what's it called? In the first episode. And they're coming down the stairs to, I don't remember the name of the song, but it's a fucking George Lopez theme. And then it, like... It cuts to how, like, it, it, it's seeing their perspective on it. Because they thought, uh, we're, we're going to smoke, we're going to do it right, so they get into suits and everything. And then it cuts away from them. And he goes, uh, and it's them, you know, very slowly kind of singing it to themselves. And it's like, it, that was really funny, and the dinner was funny too with that. Um, but I. I don't think there's too many lines of dialogue from this that I would be like, let me pull that out and, and, and remember it beyond this show. Um, like, Southern Front One's other stuff is, you know, known to be quotable. And, and like, even like the first Ted movie, I, I don't think I've ever seen the second Ted movie. But the first Ted movie had a few lines that, you know, that, that I remember all these years later. And, and granted, that doesn't do the fact that I was in ninth grade when it came out. And, you know, when you're in ninth grade and, you know, a, a teddy bear um, who is using, who's cursing and, and, and is very vulgar is, is like A plus comedy. Um, but it is what it is. It's like Seth MacFarlane, his comedy style is very, I don't want to say juvenile. Like, I guess what I want to say is, like we've said before, Zack Snyder makes movies for middle schoolers who want to see mature, or like a middle schooler's idea of what mature is, but, and, and in the same way, I think Seth MacFarlane kind of makes things that are like, this is what adult humor is, but if you're like in middle school, I think the difference is Seth MacFarlane kind of knows he operates in that space and leans into it, while Zack Snyder tries to aspire to be something greater. Um, I think that's the key difference between the two of them. Um, what else have we got? Um, 
but yeah, I mean, and and the, and the fourth episode is funny too. The fourth episode is really funny. That's the one where Ted and Blair have to team up. <laughs> have to team up. They're talking about superhero. Then they they go on their little side adventure. Um, and while they're on that little side adventure, they are, you know, it's just Ted wants to go and get high and stuff and, and drink at a at a party, at a college party. Blair's trying to get in with this professor. Um, Meanwhile, John's stuck at home, so so he's not alone. The mom gets the uh, gets the pastor's son to hang out, and the pastor's son's like 35. Um, it's that that episode is just all around really funny. Um, and I think too, the one who plays Blair, who's not a sister, she's like a cousin. Um, she's really great in this. She's really funny, and she's got great comedic timing. Um, with a lot of what he says. There are some things in this show that feel kind of, like, anachronistic, because there's a lot of dialogue that's, like, this is very modern dialogue. And not so much as, like, oh, like, we talked about, um, Lightyear. Um, and how they said in the beginning of Lightyear, like, this movie came out in 1993. It's the movie that got Andy to fall in love with the character Buzz Lightyear. And you're like, all right. And then you watch the movie, you're like, this movie would not have come out in 1993. Um, if for no other reason than their explanation for how time travel works does not line up with how things were happening in that period. Um, for how time travel was kind of explained. It was very cause and effect. Um, not multiverse theory, which is kind of what the show kind of lives in. What the movie kind of lives in. Um... And, and to that end, like, this is kind of the same thing, but there's di- there, there are words and stuff that are like, that wasn't 1993 slang. Like, that wasn't how people talked in 1993. Um, like, that's a very modern, there's very modern dialogue that feels kind of weird. And then, like, a lot of the, the jokes that come from, from Blair are more of a modern understanding of political correctness than was Tom in place in, in, in 1993. Like, I don't think, like, in the beginning they had the conversation about whether or not you can use the word midget, and it's like, I don't think that that was as big of a conversation 30 years ago as it is now. And with that being the case, it's like, well, alright, I get, like, it, it just had a weird... Um, but that whole, that whole dinner table exchange is so funny. I'm mean, trying to figure out what the other thing he said was. Like, not going to be pulled off. Like, that whole thing is just so funny. Um, and, and any time they let Ted and John kind of, like, not rip, but I feel like it's all scripted. It's not like they're ad-libbing. But, like, any time they let the two of them kind of just go off on their own little, you know, like, thing. Um like it and have their own little side conversations it's always really funny but look, the best thing that can be said about ted is it's an enjoyable experience i mean you sit there you watch these episodes i mean it does the episodes do feel long because like they're like 40 to 50 minutes and, and yeah they feel 40 to 50 minutes and at times you're thinking like they probably could have done less um but I don't know if it would have made the show better to have done half-hour episodes. Um, but eight hours of Ted just... It's one of the things that you see it on the app, and you're like, holy fuck. That's, that's a daunting number. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Check it out. It's on Peacock, and if you watch the, uh, the Peacock exclusive game on Super Wildcard Weekend, you, uh, you, you will be able to watch this, you know. So, go ahead, check it out. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll wrap up there for today. So, I'm thinking tomorrow we're going to be doing American Fiction. I'm thinking Friday we're going to be doing, um, I think I have a book of Clarence on Friday. I'm not sure. i got to look at the paper again. Um, and then Saturday we'll be doing something else. Uh, we're doing three movies because assuming that this fucking tooth thing doesn't get any worse. It, it's gotten better in a weird way. Um. But, yeah, that'll be our, you know, that's our weekend this weekend. Um, I fucked up on 30-minute reviews. I said the Oscar nomination is coming out this week. Uh, that was incorrect.
Impact is next week. Um, so, until our next episode, have a great rest of your week.